watch this video to find out what it takes to sail around the world. Mark Celeste was the first Golden Globe racer to sail around 360 degrees of longitude around the world. Was he the first to circumnavigate? Stay tuned all the way to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can get this gear and give you a review of the Golden Globe race gear. To understand what a circumnavigation takes, we have to go to the standard definition of what a sailing circumnavigation is. The hardest part of the definition to understand is the rule of antipodes about points on the opposite ends of the Earth. Antipodes are two points joined by a straight line that travel through the center of a sphere. So here I'm using an orange as an example of a spherical object and using a toothpick to go through the center of the orange to find two antipodes on either side of the orange. Okay, here's an antipode map of the world. The, the white areas are the Eastern Hemisphere land masses. The green and red areas are the Western Hemisphere antipodes to those uh, white areas. So if you were in China and digging through to the core of the earth, the center of the earth, you'd come out in Argentina. So the red spots are where uh, the Eastern Hemisphere land masses intersect with the western hemisphere land masses and the green parts are where the eastern hemisphere water intersects with the antipodes of the uh, western hemisphere so these are all the spots where the antipodes are in the western hemisphere land masses the greens uh, and then where it's just blue, all the antipodes are over water. But this gives you an idea of where the you would intersect your antipode on a circumnavigation. So for a trade wind circumnavigation, you'd probably go through the Torres Strait and then pass through uh, parts of the Caribbean where you'd have an antipode. In the western hemisphere so on our planned route we're going to go through the Torres Strait and then go around the Cape of Good Hope like similar to the world arc route and we went d d from Florida around the western tip of Cuba to the Panama Canal well this trip here uh, from our home port in New Orleans that is is uh, likely to hit an antipode uh, as we cross the Indian Ocean, if we ever do it. In contrast, if you're thinking about the Vendee Globe or the Golden Globe racers who leave from Le Sable de Lone, France, you see that the antipode that they hit uh, potentially was when they passed under the the South Island of New Zealand, but that's only if they kind of hug the South Island of New Zealand. The Vendee GGR antipodes are most likely to occur just north of the southern tip of New Zealand and right next to the finish of the Vendee Globe or GGR in La Sable de Lone, France. Mark Slats hit his uh, outbound track sometime, somewhere around here. Uh, this, he obviously had that was not enough to reach back to his antipode uh, on his route. And so that would not be a circumnavigation. If he stopped anywhere really short of the Saab de Lone, uh, it, would, it would not be a circumnavigation. So the Golden Globe racers have to, to circumnavigate the globe. They do need to finish the course. If they get short of the course, uh, then it's likely not a circumnavigation.
okay, a circumnavigation of the Earth has to go around the distance of the equator. That's a fairly easy one to get. And it's almost impossible not to exceed that number by going around 360 degrees of longitude unless you go in the Southern Ocean. Mark Slats had exceeded that distance when he crossed his outbound track. He had exceeded the distance along the equator. He traveled 360 degrees of longitude. He had not crossed the equator. And more importantly, the more difficult hurdle than crossing the equator, he had not reached two antipodes and will likely not reach one until right before the finish of the Golden Globe race. Starting and ending in the same point is also a fairly important criteria because it really cuts down the course. So, for instance, had Mark started from Los Abdalone, then crossed his outbound track somewhere between Brazil and Africa, the, all the starting point that he had done from departing Los Abdalone would not count. It would only count when he started crossing his outbound track. That is the starting and ending in the same place rule, which would have cut down his mileage to below 21,000 nautical miles for the purposes of determining a circumnavigation. So oftentimes I find sailors assert that they're, they're close to a circumnavigation, but they fall down on one or many of these criteria. So maybe they have 40,000 nautical miles and they say they've sailed around the world, but they've only maybe traveled through, I don't know, 90 degrees of longitude, not the full 360 say they did several Atlantic circles, or like Jessica Watson, they do cross the equator, they do cross all 360 degrees of longitude, but the 16-year-old sailor never came close to hitting an antipode because she spent most of her time in the Southern Ocean and did not go very far north. So Jessica Watson does not hold the record for the youngest circumnavigation because she never completed one. It's Laura Decker who went through the trade wind route and made stops as the youngest person to captain a sailing circumnavigation. Another interesting example of a voyage that is often referred to as a circumnavigation but isn't under the standard definition is the one made by the crew of this 24-foot yacht Seraphin, where they went around the world via the northern hemisphere but never crossed the equator. And while they exceeded the criteria of 360 degrees of longitude, went further than the distance of the equator, much more than 21,000 nautical miles, they never crossed the equator and thus never hit an antipode, and thus it was not a circumnavigation, unlike what they asserted in their books. Stay tuned for my review of the Golden Globe race gear. Race gear. Um, I have the t shirt. This is a double X large. Um, I can wear a large or an uh, extra large. I ordered an uh, extra large. They didn't have them in the, the China store versus the France store. Uh, this double this X large is really tight. So I'd say get a size higher than you normally get uh, for the, from the Golden Globe store. Hats come in one size and they have the little clip so it doesn't fall off. So I'm hoping that the polo shirt is not gonna be too tight. Uh, when I put it on, I'll put it on in a second. This extra large Golden Globe race polo. Uh, it uh, got the little, you got the McIntyre badge, and I don't think it has anything in the back. Um, it's also a size smaller uh, than what I'm used to, so it's a double. It's an extra large. I should be wearing a extra large probably or a large, uh, and. It's, it feels more like a large medium. And I suspect this will shrink. It seems like cotton, like it'll shrink. So I'd say definitely get a size up on both the shirts, uh, maybe two sizes up. So you see the printing on the back, uh, sailing like it's 1968. Uh, so there's printing on the front and back of the t-shirt and on the arms. So 
I think for 30 euros is pretty good value. The shipping, uh, which was DHL from China, took about a week for me. It had good tracking. It cost 35 euros uh, for the shipping. So you want to do kind of a big order. You definitely don't want to have your order uh, in France and China. So either choose to get the order from France or from China, but don't mix it. I made the mistake of mixing it and I ordered a shirt that I couldn't get in China and then I had the polo and the hat from China and I just wasn't keeping track of that and Don McIntyre's wife had to straighten out the order for me. Uh, so in the future, I would say just make sure you only do France or China with the order if you're going to do it. I was not compensated to do this. I did get a free shirt because I messed up my order. Uh, that was very nice of them. Uh, but I was not asked to do this, was not compensated to do this. I'm not affiliated with the Golden Globe race in any way. Subscribe to Slow Boat Sailing where you can see the most interesting sailors in the world like Susie Goodall and her crashing out of the Golden Globe race. We have our own gear at Slow Boat Sailing. You can get our mug or our t-shirt. Links below. If you'd like to support the videos, consider making a pledge at patreon.com slash slowboatsailing.